Take a moment to think about the relationships in your life, whether with friends, family, or partners. Do they add value to your life? Or is there something lacking or even draining about them? We first start learning how to form relationships as children, developing an attachment style. This style influences the quality of relationships you are surrounded by today. To develop better relationships, you must first understand your attachment style. There are four types of attachment styles. If you want intimacy with your partner, but constantly doubt whether they want the same, you might have an anxious attachment style. The anxious attachment type's insecurity combined with an intense need to be supported and admired by their partner can cause tension and conflict in relationships. On the other hand, you might prefer to be more self-reliant and less dependent on the support of others. This points to an avoidant attachment style. Avoidant attachment types are usually more emotionally distant and can find it difficult to maintain close, satisfactory relationships. Or perhaps you crave intimacy but prefer to keep a distance due to a general distrust of others. You may have an anxious avoidant attachment style. As a result, despite longing for closer relationships, anxious avoidant types tend to shy away from forming any close bonds due to a fear of rejection. Maybe you don't relate to any of the above. You find yourself comfortable with intimacy and believe you're worthy of love. You probably have a secure attachment style. Secure types tend to form healthy and more satisfying relationships. Luckily, attachment styles aren't fixed. You can develop a more secure attachment style by earning security. You've already started by watching this video and gaining a better understanding of your attachment style. Through self-reflection and education, you become more aware of your patterns of behavior in relationships. With this awareness, you can start practicing intentional forgiveness. Forgive others around you by responding lovingly even when frustrated. Forgive yourself by understanding why your relationships bring up negative emotions like anxiety or frustration. Learn to let these emotions go. While you should forgive, you shouldn't forget. If you are hurt, set boundaries with those who hurt you. To start practicing forgiveness, Simply think of a situation that made you feel a certain way and write it down. Building healthy relationships requires deliberate effort. Start to surround yourself with others who practice a secure attachment style and remember that relationships aren't a one-way street. Show your willingness to be honest and vulnerable and others are likely to respond in kind. 